Hello and welcome to another Core Animator tutorial. In this one we're excited to introduce masking and show you how to use that in a project. Let's go ahead and look at the animations in this project. You can see we have a genie lamp and as we play this animation we will reveal the genie using a simple gradient mask. You can also animate the gradient mask to reveal the genie in an animated fashion. So let's go ahead and recreate this project. Let's start over by deleting the mask. You can see we just have the two objects, the genie and the genie lamp. And we can go ahead and select the genie element and apply a mask to it. Over here in the properties section, there's a new section called mask, and you can see that there is no mask applied currently. So we click on this thumbnail and we're presented with several templates that we can use. Some gradients, stars, circles, and, and their inverses as well. You can also hit this browse button and browse to any PNG and use that as a mask if you wish. But for this project, this gradient will work just fine. So as we apply the mask, we can see that we're selected on the mask indicated by this dotted line. And if we try and move around, we can see that we're moving the mask around. The mask as it's associated with the genie element that it's applied to. You can also independently select the genie element and move that around along with its associated mask. But right now we want to manipulate just the mask, so let's click on this icon and we'll get our dotted line indicating that we're manipulating just the mask. For this project, we want the gradient edge of the mask to be on the top side. So let's go ahead and hold shift to flip this around in an exact 180, and then we'll position it down here below for our starting position, where it is, there's nothing being revealed of the genie layer in the setup mode. Then we'll go ahead and go to the Animate tab, and we already have these animations created called Reveal and Reveal Refine. So let's just do a simple, put our playhead at three seconds. We will select the mask. You can see we're selected on the mask with the dotted line, and then do a transform to make the mask uh, scale up and reveal the genie. So that's really all there is to it. We can also modify more than just, uh, we can modify any parameter in the properties panel of the mask, just like any element. So we can rotate and position this at different periods over time to get that kind of animated effect that we had earlier. And that's a simple introduction to masking. We think it will be very useful, and we're excited to see what everyone creates. Thanks for watching.